Hey guys, welcome to Framelines. This is episode 6. Uh, in this episode we're going to shoot some Kodak Vision 3 500T and some Cinestill 800T. T for tungsten, so we're going to shoot it on the London Underground with all the artificial light and everything. We think it could look cool, so that's coming up now. So Josh is in this video, he's just not in the intro bit, um, I'm filming that by myself because uh, we live about an hour and a half away from each other and it's a bit kind of difficult to get together and do stuff like this, so, but we did get together and we filmed for about two days on the London Underground um, over the last week and we shot some Cinestill 800T and some Kodak Vision 500T. Uh, both cine films, both pretty much the same film actually. Cine still has kind of a trademark uh, halation effect whenever you, you shoot bright lights. You get kind of an orange kind of glow around the bright lights. Some people like that, some people don't. So it could be interesting to kind of compare. And as another kind of comparison, we thought that um, we could compare a couple of different cameras. So Josh is shooting on a Canon EOS 300 which is like a film camera from the 90s. It cost him 70 pounds. It's small, it's light, it's cheap. And I was shooting on my Canon US 30. And I also had this, which is my Mamiya 6405. Now this camera is one of my favorite medium format cameras because it is modular. Uh, you can change lenses, you can change viewfinders, you can change backs. You can pretty much adapt it to suit whatever needs you have at the time. So I use this camera last year to put together a project which ended up becoming a book called Crossed with Care and it was a medium format black and white street photography of kind of classic London inspired by my favorite photographers from the 50s and 60s people like Robert Frank and Sergio Lorraine, uh, Louis Four. So that was a fun project I worked on last year and I shot most of it on this camera. I've never shot Kodak Vision or any kind of cine film on medium format before so I thought this would be a good opportunity to try that and that's coming up in a second but before that comes up we're going to show some of our favorite shots on cine still and Kodak Vision films so enjoy I hope you like it like subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. 